I'm Kevin. I'm Kyle. And what we're going to do today is we're going to turn Kyle's bedroom into a camera obscura. Now basically this is just a giant camera where you're inside of it and what you see outside the window is going to be projected on a white sheet inside his bedroom. So let's get to it. So the first step is to take the window of the bedroom and make it completely light tight. It has to be 100%. You can't have any light leaks or anything. Now for that, I found the easiest thing to use is aluminum foil because it's completely light proof, it's thin, it's easy to work with, um, and we can use it to cover the entire window and we'll use some black tape to seal it around the outsides so that we have a completely dark room to work with. You got to seal? So it's, it's easy to see all the holes when you turn off the lights and then you want to try patching up as many holes as you can with no light coming through. Okay, so we've done all our patchwork right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a little window, which is where we're going to put our lens for the camera. Okay, now to make it easier, we're going to take a big window and seal the edges so we can change the aperture to bigger or smaller, depending on uh, how much light we have outside. So I'm just going to cut a hole maybe three or four inches in diameter. That's bright. Guess it is a good time of day for this. Okay. Okay, now because his walls are really, really dark, the image won't show up on them very well. So we're going to hang a white sheet on the ceiling, and the image is going to be project projected onto that. If you want to just use it on your walls and your ceiling, that'll work as well. But, of course, it'll be distorted because the, uh, the walls aren't parallel to the image plane. Let's see if this works. I'll close the door. Okay, so this is the house top. All along here. These are house shadows. Um, and then this is the sun. Then this is the sky. Yep. So right now we've got a pretty big aperture right now. Just that big square window that we cut into the, uh, into the uh, aluminum foil. You'll be able to see more um, details if we make the lens yep. more like lens. So what we're going to... So basically, we're just making more than one little lens, and you can take the pieces of foil off and put them back on. And we're using different sizes of holes. There's a tiny, tiny one here. And depending on the size of the hole, it'll make the image brighter or darker. Um, the smaller the hole, the sharper the image, but also the darker the image. I've got a question. Sure. What happens if you put more than one hole? Ah. Can we try it? Sure. 